What do you think about Thai food? Ooh, I like Thai food. Did you have a chance to wear Thai university outfit? In the island, I went more with my top bikini and like a short in front of my computer <laughs> and saying hello to my teacher and saying, yeah, uh, all good. สวัสดีครับกลับมาพบกันกับนัทเจอร์นี่ในนัททอล์กนะครับวันนี้ผมจะมาคุยกับเพื่อนสาวชาวสวิตคนหนึ่งที่เขาเคยมาเป็น Student Exchange หรือว่านักเรียนแลกเปลี่ยนที่ประเทศไทยนะครับและตอนนี้เธอก็อยู่กับผมแล้ว Hello Steph Hello Hello How are you oh, well, I'm so jealous on you that you have been To many places after you visit Thailand, like you went back to Switzerland, then you traveled to France, and then you went to London, England, UK, right? Oh, and now you're in Colombia. How many countries already after Thailand? Three. Three countries. Do you still remember when and where did we meet? We met by dating apps. Yeah, we met through the dating apps. But when? I think. It was October 2021. October. It's almost a year now. Two more months. It will be one year already that we know each other. Can't believe that. Yeah. <laughs> But it, it was very fun, like to meet you on the island when I living an island life at that time, and you were like traveling. Around because you don't have to go to university, right? Yes, that's right. Yeah, but sometimes internet connection was pretty annoying. Because one time I had an exam and my internet broke. Mmm. Really but horrible. I was like freaking out. But at the end, I just like send an email my exam. But yeah. Sometimes internet connection wasn't there. For the first time, I really enjoyed the online university because I was much more flexible. What is your major or the field of your study? Uh, studying international affairs, so it's a mix of politics, business, economics, and law. I choose Thailand. It was my ex-boyfriend that advised me because I wanted to go somewhere where COVID was safe and I could. Actually, go so Thailand look at like a good country and this like some both quarantine and cricket look look at good. So I was like, okay, let's go there. So that's why I end up in Thailand. You were studied in Thailand at Mahidol University. You mostly work from your laptop. Yeah. Do you have any favorite place like after school? I know that you have been like traveling around, but do you have any favorite place in Thailand? The place I stayed the most and that I really liked was Koh Phangan. So it's a good city vibe. Yeah, I really felt in love with this island. But then there is also the north of Thailand that is pretty insane and beautiful because we had the freedom to be with the motorbike, so we could. So many things. We did some loop, the hang jump loop, go to the sand fly loop. So for that, the nature vibe was really cool. But I think I prefer the island vibe. Mm -hmm. You had so many activities you need to do there, and was so cool also on the vibe where of the senior. To Koh Phangan, and also in the north, there was this city called Pai. That is also kind of a hippie vibe. It was pretty chill, also. So yeah, mm. I like so many places to be fair. Like every place in Thailand has such a different vibe and different people that I really still have uh, okay. I'm still in contact with. So yeah, Koh Phangan, I think, will be my number two spot. Did you have a chance to wear Thai university outfit? Nah. No, that's all. Ah. I think it can be quite good because, like, it's everybody's similar, and you don't have to think that much to what clothes to wear to uni and whatsoever. Mm. So it's neither good neither bad. I think you can find arguments for both. Again, so far, but yeah, as it was completely online, most of the time when I was in, on the islands, by and the islands, I was more with my top bikini and like a short in front of my <laughs> computer and saying hello to my teacher, saying yeah, yeah. all good. <laughs> What do you think about Thai education system like? For me, as the teacher from my university, they were always repeating. What to do for the next class? What assignment? Uh, what do to which day? They were always kind of you know treating the student like children. It's like a different culture, so I had to adapt to them. 
And I was like, but it's weird. Usually in Europe, or at least in Switzerland, the teachers say at the beginning of the year, yeah, you have to do exam this day, you have the assignment that day, and that's it. You have to do it by yourself. They are not really there for you because if you send an email, yes, but otherwise you do everything by yourself. In Thailand, they were really with repeating everything what you have to do. So I would say that what's like is that they expect more the students to be independent in the way that they do everything by themselves and they don't have to be reminded like by the teacher that they have like a due date at that time. Because that's the only thing that was shocking me. Is it like happen for every professor that they will repeat? every time yeah. for you yeah. uh, you didn't have a chance to fully experience the thai education system right because you didn't have a chance to like went to the university and study in classroom i didn't have this opportunity but from what i could see on online it's just that they were always repeating a lot hmm. of what to do and also i think participation I mean, I know a lot of students don't like to participate in class, mm, but I was literally the only one participating in all my classes. For real? Nobody wanted to talk. Just because it was small classes mm -hmm. as well. Let's just talk about some beautiful stuff. What do you think about Thai food? Ooh, I like Thai food. My favorite food in Thailand, which is probably the most basic food, it's pad thai with tofu. Pad thai with tofu? <laughs> okay. I don't know, I love it so much. Especially one that was in the city of Pai, in the north, mm. in the walking market. At the end of the walking market, there was this new guy with his uh, kind of table to do like some pad thai. And I, I always went there for like a week every night to ask uh, pad thai with tofu and eggs and a lot of spicy, spicy, mm. yeah. Oh, I love pad thai. I mean, and I so much pad thai that I'm even cooking pad thai now, even in Switzerland, but not as good as in Thailand. So you already have the all of the ingredients in Switzerland to cook pad thai? Yeah, I went to a... Wow. Yeah, I went to a, a thai... I mean, I buy in Thailand before coming back to Switzerland, and then I also found a thai shop. So I could mm -hmm. like tell you everything. Impressive. But I wonder what was the worst experience in Thailand? I think I had two experiences. One is more funny and the other one was more because I was kind of sick. The first time, the night before, we drink, we had a little, and we drank so much, so we were pretty hungover the next day. So on the next day, we had to take a speedboat to go to Katao. Speedboat with hangover but worst thing it was uh, there was a storm because it was pouring rain it was horrible from Kotangan to Kotao it was I don't know two hours oh, it was horrible the feeling mm. I was feeling sick I arrived in Kotao and I was feeling so sick but then I was feeling all right and then I, in the evening, I went to eat something and I think I had the worst, like a really bad intoxication because I had fever. I don't know what happened in Kotao, but I was sick all the time with so like fever, feeling unwell and so on. And when I left Kotao, I was feeling better. So I should probably go back to Kotao to have a better feeling about it because a lot of friends of mine went to Kotao and love it. So yeah, so that was pretty horrible because I was really feeling. <laughs> but the second experience was at New Year's Eve. It wasn't that bad. It's more funny and bad at the same time. <laughs> so it was New Year's Eve. We were in Copangan. I was with my best friend from Switzerland, Marie. So we were in Copangan in Hadrian Beach. Yeah, New Year's Eve, a bit drunk, I was bored. Around 1 or 2 p.m., my best friend, she told me that she wasn't drunk. I don't know, because she had the mother, and so she's quite responsible. So she went on the skipping rope on fire, and then she fell on the sand of her wrist, but she broke her arm. So at 2 p.m., I was drunk. All my friends were even drunker. She was in pain and I had to go back to the main station, but she was fainting all the time. So I had to 
take her with my friends trying to help me, but they were all a bit drunk. And then I was like calling also the insurance of my friends, the parents to say what happened, but not to be worried. And then they told us, oh yeah, she like broke her wrist, so she needed surgery as soon as possible, but we cannot do surgery in the Bangkok hospital of Co- of Copangan, but in Koh Samui. So next day, I went to Koh Samui by speedboat urgently. Uh, and then in the morning, we were in the hospital, and I called another friend that was in Koh Samui, Audrey, to uh, like, take me some clothes from her, because we literally went from New Year's Eve at the beach in Hadrin to the hospital. So we, I was like freezing off in the hospital, so I had a, a sweatshirt, and I was like, yeah, like calling everybody and say, yeah, she's all right. And also taking care of my family because she was sitting in pain. And in the evening, she had her surgery and then we had to stay few more days at the hospital. But it was pretty <laughs> the most insane of our life. I also want to know, what do you like about Thailand the most? But the thing I really liked about Thailand, there was a bit of everything. The culture, because it was different. The food, I like Asian food, the Thailand food is really, really good. Also the people, I would say the people were really kind. And I don't know why, since Thailand, I always say that home is not a place, but the people mm. and that makes you feel home. I always tell you, you know, not with me, money, show. That's <laughs> why I, I'm also trying to like be back in Thailand as soon as I can, like for my internship. And I think in Thailand, what I liked it the most is that I really evolved as a person and I was surrounded by so many people with like good intention and really great souls. And also that I really had this connection with some people and I really could have like a group of friends from now on. Home is not a place, but people that make you home. Oh, it's so touching. <laughs> anyway, do you miss Thailand? Thailand. I know you do. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously, yes. What do you really want to do when you arrive in Thailand? If I have to go back to Thailand, I want to see all the here at the airport like this. I can hug for the first thing I can do is mm-hmm. hug, hug all of you and be happy to like be all, all together and then go to a market and eat pad thai. And also, you know, the green thing, uh, there is a green thing that I really love and Mario also loved. Well, like a green thing was really good. I mm. don't remember the name, but it was so good. Nick knows, knows the name of this green thing was really good. That will be my first thing to do. Oh, okay, it's very really nice to talk with you again since you went back to Switzerland. We didn't have much time to talk, right? Yeah, it's good yeah. to catch up with you. Okay, I need to say goodbye now. Thank you so much, Step. Goodbye. And Goodbye. hope to see you here in Bangkok. Bye bye. Bye. ขอบคุณทุกคนมากนะครับที่ติดตามคลิปนี้มาจนถึงตอนจบถ้าชอบคลิปนี้ยังไงอย่าลืมกด subscribe กดกระดิ่งแจ้งเตือนเพื่อติดตามคลิปถัดไปนะครับแล้วผมก็จะทำคลิปมาเพิ่มอีกเยอะๆเลยถ้าทุกคนชอบแล้วช่วยกันแชร์คลิปนี้นะครับพบกันใหม่ในคลิปหน้าสวัสดีครับ